At first sight, the streets of Cairo appear calm, but appearances can be deceptive. Behind the efforts to resume normality, behind the visible army presence, anger, fear, uncertainty and suspicion are bubbling. This became clear when we stopped to inspect a scene of recent looting against a company linked to the ruling party of President Hosni Mubarak. This building is, or rather was, the headquarters of a steel company owned by a friend of President Mubarak's son. A steel company that completely controlled the industry here, had a monopoly and controlled prices. When you see the wreckage here... No, 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 no! What we're finding is that the situation and the mood on the streets has changed markedly. People are very suspicious now of foreigners. Some cars are driving around with loudspeakers claiming that foreign media are inciting violence and inciting the situation. We're finding it's increasingly difficult to actually step out of the car and work. In the neighborhood of Mohandasin, a line of people stretches down the street. They're queuing for bread, a new sight in Cairo. The violence of recent days and the chaos it's left behind are starting to hit people where it hurts. The regime has pushed us so that finding very basic food has become our main concern, just survival. People are under a lot of pressure. The country is full of wealth and resources, but where are they? Further down the road, smoke is pouring from a building. It's the traffic department. Thousands of documents are going up in flames. No one here knows how the fire began, but they do know that no one has come to put it out. I complained to the army commander. He said it's a small fire. How can it be a small fire? We have children. They're sick. We can't work. We can't live. We had to close our shops. How can we feed our families? It's disgusting. It's a disgrace. It's a sin. The people of Cairo are struggling to prevent their city from sliding into anarchy. Where the police are absent, ordinary people are stepping in. Faced with this destruction and chaos, some people are looking back wistfully to the order and stability that existed in Egypt only a week ago. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, Cairo.